the country. Amen. Yes, Reverend Jackson. Amen. May I hasten to say it's, it's black and Latino, but not just that. With the 765, blacks could not vote. But white women could not serve on juries in much of the South, nor was they a woman on the Supreme Court. 18-year-olds were serving in Vietnam, they could not vote. Students could not vote on campus. They either had to vote absentee or go home to vote. You could not vote bilingual until 1975. So we democratized democracy. This cuts to the heart of the whole idea of a, of a broad American social fabric. And what these states will do during that 25 years from 65 to 1990, they use gerrymandering, as they're now doing in Texas, to cut down Latino officials. Uh, 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 the case of Cleo Fields in Louisiana, they use gerrymandering, annexation, and law for rural prison. All these schemes will now become fashionable again. It will take very expensive lawsuits to defeat them. That's why I hope President Obama will take the lead, in fact, as President Johnson did ultimately, and go to the Congress and to the nation and make the case for, for the nation on our protected right to all Americans. I want to play a clip of President Lyndon Johnson speaking just as he's about to sign the Voting Rights Act in 1965. His comments are followed by remarks from Dr. Martin Luther King. Today is a triumph for freedom as huge as any victory that's ever been won on any battlefield. This law covers many pages. But the heart of the act is plain. Wherever, by clear and objective standards, states and counties are using regulations or laws or tests to deny the right to vote, then they will be struck down. If it is clear that state officials still intend to discriminate, then federal examiners will be set in to register all eligible voters. This good Congress, the 89th Congress, acted swiftly in passing this act. And I intend to act with equal dispatch in enforcing this act. I think the greatest victory of this period was not in terms of an external factor or an external development, but it was something internal. The real victory was what this period did to the psyche of the black man. And the greatness of this period was that we armed ourselves with dignity and self-respect. The greatness of this period was that we straightened our backs up. And a man can't ride your back unless it's bent. That's a clip of Dr. Martin Luther King, and before him, President Lyndon Johnson handing him the pen he used to sign the Voting Rights Act of 1965. It's from the documentary King, a film record from Montgomery to Memphis. 